Welcome to Feeding Concepts. This is another video on how to tune and adjust a coil on a drive unit. This unit is your standard unit, known as a superior unit. It's pretty standard in the industry. We're going to be looking at this area right here. Again, your, your coil's mounted, standard here on a coil stand. And these are your spring packs. Same, same scenario, all the same feeder theory applies. You will basically adjust your spring packs again. It's back, you know, springs off, springs on to get your tuning up or down. And here on your coil, this particular unit is a little bit different. It does have, it has four bolts, two are adjustable for the coil gap, and two tighten the coil up. So again, you wanna to try to get your coil gap as close as you possibly can. When that coil gap is as close as it can, it's gonna draw less amps and less heat with more power. The wider the gap, the less power you're gonna have and the more amps you're gonna draw. So basically, you wanna get that coil gap as close as you can without it hammering this coil um, island. Okay, so when you're gonna adjust your coil now, and if you've, got, if you've had to change a coil or you're adjusting the gap or you've just done some tuning, sometimes you do some tuning, you can um, get yourself out of whack a little bit on the gap. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Typically, you don't wanna adjust these bolts. This, these are just your mounting bolts. They hold it down. You've got a little bit of play here to move it back and forth, wrong place to go. Leave those tight, make sure those are tight also when you get everything done. Also, forgot to mention on the toe clamps, you wanna keep these tight too. Make sure those are down tight center bolt inside the bowls pulled tight everything's got to be tight in your tuning your outside construction doesn't really matter as much it's just your um your tuning here so what we're going to talk about now on the coil the coil gap so typically these two bolts in the center are going to be the bolts that loosen you up you can just kind of break those loose they're not going to be too tight most of the time those are kind of the ones that tighten the coil and pull it so when you loosen those up that's going to give you some gap here and what, what you're basically doing is giving yourself a little bit of room here. And then what you can do, you'll feel that coil, see how it's kind of loose now? You can see these are loose. So that coil, that's about as loose as you want to get it. You want to check your gap. You can start with like a 50 thousandths gap, but you want to get as close as you can. So what you do with these two bolts here, you're just going to tighten those up a little bit, maybe a half turn, check your gap, and then you can kind of just pull these in. Now you can do this while it's running. You'll know because it'll start to hammer. Your fine tune should be done actually while it's running. While you've got the bolt going, go ahead and bring the gap in until it starts to hammer. Once it starts to hammer and you move these gaps in, go ahead and tighten these two down. And it'll be the same on any coil. Just tighten those down and then that should pull it back enough and square it up to where that hammering stops. Then you've got that good gap. You've got um, low amp draw and the maximum amount of power. And that's what you want to achieve when you're done tuning. Close as you can to that eye lamb. Your adjustments are all right here. Leave these alone. These come from the manufacturer. That way, tighten down. You shouldn't be getting into them. Just leave those alone. That's if you really got to move it forward for a reason. Other than that, leave those bolts alone. Um, again, everything needs to be tight. Tight to the table. Tight on all the, all the bolts. Tight on all the mounting from the bowl. That's where your tuning starts. That's how you adjust your coil. If you got to take the coil off and on, these coils do vary a little bit, probably 30 thousandths overall. They get surface ground on the front. Depends on what guy did it on what day. So you get a new coil, you're always going to have to adjust your coil gap. Don't go with the old one. If the coil gap gets too wide, you're going to draw too many amps. And that coil is going to get hot and it's going to burn. And then you're going to be buying new coils. So we want to get that coil as close as you can. And you want to get that gap as close as you can so those amps are low and it runs nice and cool with its maximum amount of power. Hi guys, thanks for watching our video. I'm the owner of Feeding Concepts, John Graham. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions or you want any other information, please leave it in the comment section. We'll try to provide it. Again, thanks for watching our video and have a great day.